It's a historical level. We can now make prayer restore potions. Oh, that's amazing. We're playing a little bit of bingo in our clan right now, and I needed to be able to, uh, make, be able to make restore potions so that I could go and get some of the bingo tiles knocked off. But I don't know what the secondary for this is. Is it snake grass? I think it's snake grass. Let's find out together, I guess, shall we? I've never made a prayer pot before, so let's, uh, stuff a whole bunch of, uh, Renar weeds into here and watch as they transform into the magical powers of... Well, let's see. Oh, ho, 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 that is right! Look at that. Prayer restoring potions. And we've got nine of them. That's pretty phenomenal. Is 750 tiles enough to do what I'm planning? Well, we're going to find out. Because I think what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the past to play the shitty games that suck ass. Uh, we're going to go back to Waterbirth Island and see if we can navigate our way down to the Dagonoth Kings. Kill a few Dagonoth Kings and see if we can't get ourselves a Dragon Axe. <laughs> Water birth island taketh my health, but it also giveth. Well, a long time ago we came here for the snake grass, and now it's time to actually just sit and collect a bunch of the fucking snake grass. We can grow snake grass, but I'm not very good at it. Yeah, I've only got the one patch that's operating right now, and that's in Hasidious. So I'm gonna just run up and down and grab the, uh, the herb patches or uh, the snake grass from all of the places that we have. Just another one up there. And then let it respawn and then come running back. Fill up the inventory and lather, rinse, repeat. Spooky farming. We got a level that we can now use belladonna seeds. So I wanna try this, cause apparently we can. So why not? We're going to plant the belladonna, and I guess we'll throw an ultra compost on it, because I don't actually know how that works. Yeah, there's nothing that you can pay to protect it, so I, I, I don't know if we're just hoping that it grows, or if it can't be poisoned, or if it's a toxic bush that can't die. I, I haven't the slightest idea. No matter the case, we are going through. Do something that's also nearby here because we want to be able to continue our uh, bingo game that we're doing with the clan. And that is going to be uh, leveling up a skill that we have not yet used. There's only two skills that are at level one, so it's a 50-50 on what we're doing next. That's right, it's time to actually utilize a little bit of the tiles that we've walked all the way out here for. There's apparently the air, uh, uh, what is it called? Air runes? No. Shrine? Temple? The air sh something. Certainly. Certainly something. We need to come here to get the music, and we need to come here to do a bit of rune crafting. Neat. We can now craft mine runes. But we're not going to. All we're going to do is craft a ton of air ruins. Back and forth and back and forth. And we actually have to run. Oh, 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 what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck was that? Why did you start walking away? The fuck is your problem? What are you doing to me? As I was saying, we have to walk all the way down here and up and then back to the bank so that we don't waste tiles. You know, we wouldn't want to waste tiles. Final piece of 
puzzle that we are unlocking so that we can start to do a bit of grinding outside of just farm runs is actually to do Tithe Farm. And I don't have the slightest idea how to get in there, so let's just click there. I didn't realize that Tithe Farm was uh, something that we could actually do and gives pretty good farming experience, so I feel silly for not having known about it. But as part of the bingo, we want to get some uh, skill unlocks or uh, skill outfit unlocks. Which means we need to talk to people in here, I guess. Uh, grab some seeds from the table. Okay, search table. Uh, let's grab some bolognese. Not even, uh, not even remotely. <laughs> Deposit the seeds into the sack, okay. Water the plants at each stage, otherwise they die. Fertilizer makes them grow faster or die faster. Alright. Yes, let's let's That's what I really cared about was the minigame teleport that now operates. So let's see here. I'm sure there's a strategy to this, and, and we're gonna take a quick gander, like a goose. Use our watering cans on the water barrel. We're gonna start with that. All right, it looks like what we want to do is we want to bounce back and forth between them. Perfect. All right, so we use the, bol the bologna seeds on that. And we use the bologna seeds there. And we use the bologna seeds there. And then bologna seeds there. And then do we have to water them or is that? Yes, okay. I see how this is going to have to work. All right, now let's run back up here. Oh, crap, these things are gonna die, aren't they? Water it! Nope, dead. Saved it. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh, I can just click water on the plant. That's useful. Okay, well, that one's dead. <laughs> oh, shit. This is, uh, this is not as self-explanatory as I, I thought. I would hope that my uh, ability in Stardew Valley might come in handy here, but evidently not. Like Willy Wonka seeds. Okay, so we now harvest them. Do these die off at all? Or do they live in my inventory forever? They, they, they high elk for 10? Or no, they high elk for one each. Wow, that was a huge dump of experience. Well, this is, I'll tell you what, this is way less stressful than the farming runs, which are so problematic running around. What I can do then is my farm runs, oh, this is gonna be good. My farm runs can focus only on having to be, uh, only having to focus on the farm runs that are actually planting crops that I want to instead of having to plant tomatoes just to try and squeak out a little bit of farming experience. We can just come here and, and do this. Miss Spory, you bitch, where's my money? How do I find you? Where are you? I think we go in the cave. I think that's where we gotta go in order to grow Hespori. But we've got now 65 herbal ore. No, 65 farming. So we're taking a quick break from Tithe Farm, which I'm quite enjoying, to be able to hit our herb patch, hit our tree patch, and hit the cave. Uh, mostly, let's start here, because we gotta hit that leprechaun eventually too. There's also this anima patch, which I think is only things that are dropped by, dropped by Hespori anyway? With access to the herb patch, we'll be able to complete farming contracts that are out here that should be, I think, either medium or easy difficulty. I don't remember if this one is uh, easy or medium or what, but either way, we're going to wrap up the ability to start to utilize these and enter the cave. We're not going to fight Hespori. He takes like 35 hours to grow or something like that, but we sure do want to make sure that... Uh, we can access his cave and kill him. 
his drops, among which there are many, many fantastic ones, really the ones we care about are the white lilies. Those, those are what we really care about. Uh, exit cave, please. When it's time to fight him, we'll come back and we will kick his ass so that we can hopefully get some white lilies that will be useful for protecting the plants. Try and uh, protect the plants that we're trying to grow every which direction. Speaking of... Oh, our watermelons are done and everything. Fantastic. <laughs> Holy shit, look! Look, look, look! We got the rock golem! <laughs> What the fuck? I was just totally idling. I was doing a farm run. Came across a rock. I was like, eh, let's just stop mining it. <laughs> I don't know where our phoenix is though, so I can't pick his ass up to be able to uh, to drop. Yeah, I've already got a follower. That's a shame I can't drop him. Oh, but hey, that's another, that is another pet. Skill pet, and at 80 mining, too. That is... Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's hilarious! That was like a 65 agility for our squirrel, like... 80 mining. Wow. For rock golem, we got him from the star. Well, shit, let, let's get him out here. What an ugly son of a bitch. <laughs> Ugly son of a bitch, but I'm so excited about that. That is awesome. Let's... Look at that! He's a chill little dude. Now I know we can we can change his color somehow, so we're gonna have to figure out how to do that. Though, depending on his colors available, we'll have to see. I think Phoenix is still the, the one who takes the cake. But you know, his spore, he's grown. He's, uh, he's fully grown in this game. So let's go fight him. This thing. <laughs> I'm genuinely nervous. Yes. Because we gotta kill off his flowers first. Oh, we need to throw that on. There we go. Then put this back on and attack him. Let's back off and attack him. And we want to be on this. Alright, he's sticking to the magic, which is nice. Oh, and then we gotta move, 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 Get out of the way. Attack him. Drop that. Oh, shit. Eat that. Uh... Reset that. Drink that. Attack his spore again. Drink the anti-poison. Make sure that we're keeping that up. Come on, keep keep hitting them. We gotta hit them harder than that. Come on. Nice, 16. That's what we're talking about. Ow, those things hurt. Damn. Run away, 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 run away. Attack a spory. Eat. Eat. Attack a spory. Drink a prayer pot. Attack a spory, man. Come on. I don't think we can do this with our current setup. Uh... Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. Well, shit. All right. Worth the try. Worth the try. Worth the try. We need higher range defense. Or we need higher magic. Or both. Which means the next thing we need to do is we need to, in between doing our tithe farm, we need to figure out how we're going to be able to get equipment to be able to kill Hespori. And that is a question unto itself. Well, after an ass kicking that bad, I think we need to take a drink. Give me a drink. Give me a wizard's mind bomb, please. Also, I want two of them, because we're actually going to need these for a later quest. 
Also, we're getting hammered. Absolutely perfect. We can buy the beers, and unlike the real world, we can just leave? Bring them out to the public? That seems uh, not accurate. But whatever. That's the problem for another time. Yeah, we can ooh, not click away crazy, and we can enact plan two of our Hespori fix. Step one, get bombed. Step two, make drunk purchases. The purchase of some magical items, please, sirs. And in order to do that, we need to enter the Wizards Guild. And in order to enter the Wizards Guild, well, nothing quite as effective at getting into a Wizards Guild as getting drunk. The Wizards Mind Bomb is going to give us plus three magic, which is going to give us more than ample to be able to open the Magic Guild door. So let's walk on up to it. Wizards love an alcoholic because all wizards are alcoholic. We chug and open. And hey, hard task in the diary. Nice. That's, that's kind of cool. Now, who the hell sells the robes? Do you, you probably sell the robes. Give me robes, yeah. Buy Mystic, buy Mystic, buy Mystic, buy Mystic, and buy Mystic. Look at that. I need to chill that out a little bit. My take a seat animation <laughs> that I figured out how to set up apparently triggers way too quickly. Oh, right. Well, you know what I need for step two? Or step three? Step three is to get our defense to where we need to be. And the final step of the plan. We're gonna stab crabs until we are at 40 attack. And 20 defense. The 40 attack will give us the ability to wield this rune battle axe. And the wound rune battle axe will allow us to bring death and destruction to these crabs like nothing before. Our gear is a little bit better, I think. Just a little bit better. It's time to kick Espori's ass. Oh! Okay, well... Here we go. Uh, I was not ready for that. Uh, okay. That's okay. Rough start, but, uh... <laughs> That's okay. We will get this. Because we are doing much stronger attacks, much better damage. I hope, I pray. Ow. Uh, how do I... Can you please attack him? Yeah, not, not appreciative of the, uh... Okay, now get out of the way, 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 and then attack. Keep it going, keep it going. Keep coming. Yeah, we're not gonna have the inventory for this. We're paying our dues at the Tithe Farm, which gets us a ton of experience, but really gets us to an important level, and a very important level. This is officially, I think, as high of a stat as we need in order to complete our music cave to deal with. 
And I'm taking a seat, because I have well deserved it. That is incredibly. What we're going to do next with all of that, because really at this point there's not a whole hell of a lot else. We can grow our snake grass and our watermelons. It's just tree runs and tithe farm the whole way. I am sick and tired. I'm having to make a run all the way to our Dougie. So I'm gonna fix that. Look at him looking at me. He knows that I know, that he knows that I know, that I know that he knows. Yeah, we know. There's also a crazy ugly dude out here. Hey, Mr. Crazy Ugly. So I think that might be the only picture in the game? Yeah. We like waifus. Let's take a picture of our waifu. She will be our waifu for laifu. Hey, Edmund. Get your ass over here. I hear I need help. Oh, wheat. I'm gonna pick your wheat, actually. Yeah. Hi. Hello. What <laughs> kind of a piece of shit are we? Hey, old man. He doesn't look old. He's, it's, there's still color in his beard. What happened to her? Uh, whoops, I accidentally held spacebar for too long. Deadly plague. All right, I'll help find her. Yes, we're going to start Plague City. Uh, I have dwell berries already. Can you just... Can I just talk to you again? Is that all I need to do? Yeah, I've got the dwell berries. I grew them myself. Uh, she's not inside, you lying sack of shit. Also, I'm going to pick this wheat. I will need wheat for another plan of mine. So why not steal it from this poor man who's lost his daughter? Quick hop later and she is inside. Which means save them uh, tiles. Yep, yeah, here's your dwell berries. I don't know why. Uh, oh, oh, okay, you're gonna hide it in the cupboard. Come here, or I'll steal more of your crops. Dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. I guess we're gonna dig a tunnel. That was Lion King three, no, two and a half or two and three quarters or something like that. Fall into the sewer and Edmund just kind of climbs down. All right, all right, whatever, whatever. Uh, attempt to pull a grill. This is gonna ream our tiles, but that's okay. We're worth it for the teleport. Uh, uh, no. Okay, fine, fuck it. Alright, now. Oh, fuck. Okay, I need Edmund's help. Edmund! Why do we need. If he's an old man, his help is not gonna be worth anything. I'm sure he's going to move at the last second. Let's get to it, he says. Oh good, he doesn't use one of my tiles. Unlike other NPCs, ja thick. Ja <laughs> my boy's thick. Ja thick. Hey, nothing like a little espionage. They're crawling through a sewer pipe. And hopefully nobody pays any attention to me just popping up through the manhole. 